Welcome to this product demonstration and termination process for SSF fiber. I will be terminating a SC connector onto SSF single strand fiber. This is OM3 multi-mode and I'll go through the process here. First step on your connectors is you want to take the boot off the connector and slide it up the cable. Then you want to prep the cable. You want to strip off about two inches of the outer jacket. Kind of hit the strength members a couple times to separate your fiber from your strength members. Go ahead and you don't want to cut any of the strength members off at this time or anything to that effect. This blue coating that you see on the fiber, this is basically just a color coating. It's called soft peel and it does not need to be on the fiber for termination. It has to be removed. Um, you do remove this with your fingers. You do not use tools. If you use tools, you could damage the underlying buffer. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fingernails, kind of get a pinch on it, pull. The soft peel comes off. One advantage of SSF fiber, and if you can see the fiber here, is that the coating that's on the fiber makes it impenetrable to water, to oil, to any sort of uh, contaminants. So unlike normal fiber, you do not need to clean this fiber. It doesn't require any cleaning process. For the SC connector, I'll be doing a 28 millimeter cleave with the cleaving tool you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off 28 millimeters from the end of the jacket. Make sure my fiber is perpendicular to the blade. If it's at an angle in any way, you're going to get a bad cleave and you're going to end up with loss. So I'll make sure it's perpendicular, close the tool, click, fibers cleaved and it's at 28 millimeters. Part of the termination process is to put your connector onto your VFL or visual fault locator. You want to put it on and turn on the visual fault locator. You have a light source, you have a nice bright light. You're going to open up the back of the connector and there's something called a V-groove in there and you'll place your fiber strand in the V-groove and just let it slide forward until it seats. When it seats, the light will go out. When the light goes out up here, you slide your cam forward. Now it's cammed in place. I'll lay my fiber into the back slot of the connector here. Make sure my strength members are off to one side. Close the clamshell. Slide my boot up. Give it a couple turns to start. Trim off my excess strength members. Boot up the rest of the way. Remove the connector from the tool. Place the dust cap on immediately because I do not want to have any sort of contamination on the end face. And then the last step for an SD connector is placing the shroud on. I'll put the shroud on, click it, done. Termination is complete.